Lebuhang Masango reciting a poem, a form of literature through which African stories can be told, also in song and dance. During these days, we are going to say how from now on will not allow anyone to talk about us without us raising very high our own voice and say we are and our dignity will be defined by ourselves and the rest will have to accept us. The continent has many challenges but there is optimism. Africa is re-emerging. Africa is in those young people who either see our young people as a problem of unemployment. They did not understand what's happening with our young people in terms of a creativity, of changing even the way the world today has to do business. Just look at uh, the kind of creativity which is coming with African startup. It is ours. It is defined by our own way, our realities. Others will not understand. That's why they say our women in the market, in rural areas, etc. they say they are informal economy. They can't understand that in reality, our stability, our social stability, and our sense of cohesion is made by those millions of women who they call informal economy, but without them, we are not. I mean, it's not the so-called GDP <laughs> which makes our economies. It is important, but I want to say here, you, our t storytellers, you have to refine, redefine the concept of GDP. Sophie Mkwe, SABC News, Johannesburg.